Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. With so many different ways to collect out there, you might think it's wrong to open up your toys. Some collectors will even say, Don't do that. And others might tell me, You want to go home and rethink your life. Well, I'm definitely not listening to that guy. Because today, we have a Mace Windu from Attack of the Clones, Hasbro 2001. This guy has been locked up in a clamshell for 19 years, and he has force power attack that can destroy a battle droid, maybe even Jango Fett. So it's time we set him free, open him up, and see what he's got. Are we really doing this? Oh yeah, we're doing this on Collecting Star Wars. And here we have it, Mace Windu, Attack of the Clones, with Blast Apart Battle Droid. It says on the back, and what drew me to this figure is all the things he says he can do. Hold his left hand over the lightsaber, and weapon is force attracted to his hand. Assemble the droid, insert force blast into figure sleeves. Pointing it at the droid, pull back on the end of the force blast, then release. Droid will come apart when hit by force blast. And finally, attach a long force effect to the droid. Pull back and release to force push the droid. So we are going to try all that out today. And like I said earlier, 2001 is the date. It also says 2002. So whether he's been in here 18 going on 19 or 19 going on 20 years in his plastic prison, either way. It's time to set free the power of the Force and see what Mace can do. Here we have Mace Windu and the B-1 Battle Droid out of the package. Now Mace is a cool character, although he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation that he's going to give you. His arms move, his waist swivels, um, and his legs kick out a bit. But he pretty much stays in this attack ready position um ready to do what he was uh created to do his force blast and force push effect so he is always going to be um battle ready for that he comes with a very nice lightsaber of course his mace windy purple lightsaber and it's got some nice chrome looking silver metal on it and i like that sort of energy effect that it has at the start um of the blade and his hand is magnetic, so it does indeed just sort of draw to his hand, like the back of the box says. Um, so it sticks on there nice. And then, of course, it has his force push effect, which is this cool little watery, windy, um, air kind of push effect thing. And no, this isn't a butterscotch lollipop, so do not eat it, kids. This is your force blast effect. And I will show you the battle droid a little closer later, but um, he is cool and detailed, but because he's made to fall apart, uh, as you can imagine, he's pretty brittle, so he will fall apart as soon as I touch him. So I want Mace to do the honors first. So let's try the force blast. So he has up his sleeve, as you can see there. You just load in the force blast projectile and it's got kind of a spring lock there that let's see so there I have it loaded up in his sleeve pull back on the tab right back here aim it at the battle droid it takes a couple hands to do it and let's see if we can have here we go. Fire. Ah! <laughs> you grab that, you aim it at your battle droid, and you fire. And you fire. And this time you hit him. Yeah! <laughs> so the battle droid does come apart. His head comes off. He's got a cool backpack here. 
that's loose and I don't know if it pops off yeah it does okay um, but it pretty much stays on pretty solid unlike his legs which are made to fall apart nicely so that bottom connects into the top and whoop, got him on backwards and that's how he comes together but because he falls apart so easily as he's designed to do he does take a little patience to get back together to get him to stand up again so let me load up the target one more time and we'll try the force push all right we're going to try the force push i set it up i like this one just as a display i think the force push effect looks a little bit more realistic like for uh, to set up a diorama and to set up a display so i like the look of that um the mechanics of it i wonder if it's going to fall apart really before um i activate the pullback feature um the force blast i think works as long as my aim is on but this one might be a little bit more interesting so we will try it live together so let's see if we pull back on his force push if we can make it fall apart here we go okay <laughs> and he shot across the studio so it works <laughs> it's fun let's see what we can do against Django Fett showdown time Mace Windu Django Fett the rematch let's see if it goes any differently this time boom that's how a Jedi does it And there you have it. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. I do plan on finding more of these uh, more or less older um, Star Wars, more obscure action figures and opening them up and putting them to the test and seeing what they can do. If you have one of these, um, either opened or not, leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching everybody. And remember, be kind, stay strong, because you are the hero of your own story.